In today's video, we're going to be unboxing a one ounce American Copper Eagle and we're going to be comparing it to a Silver and Gold Eagle. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today we're going to be unboxing a Copper Eagle, my very first Copper Eagle. Eagle. We're going to be comparing it to the Silver and Gold Eagle as well, and we're going to be showing off a little bit more of the copper that I have. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for weekly videos, and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Got the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tees out now, available in three colors, and of course, the DYDSS Fight Collection, which is helping raise a little bit of funds and awareness for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Monday, October 4th, 2021. The current spot price of silver as I'm filming the video is $22.54. Barely in the green, up one cent. And the spot price of gold is $17.64.50, barely in the green as well, up $3.50. And of course, the gold to silver ratio is in the 77 to 78 to 1 range. But of course, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. So today, we're going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing. Here is a copper... Eagle, and I'm really excited to open this up. This is actually something that I've been wanting for probably a year or two at the very least. So what I'm actually going to do in this video is take a clip from the Monday morning market open live stream that I literally just did in the VIP club. If anybody wants to join, I'll leave the link in the description. But every Monday morning, we do a Monday market open stream. Get a little bit of an idea of how the week is getting kick-started, what's up, what's down, what's red, what's green. And the reason I do this is because you can learn a lot about the markets by paying attention to markets, even the ones that you're not involved in. So you can kind of get a little bit of a warning or maybe a little bit of an indicator of what's going to be going on in the real estate world or the precious metal world by paying attention to the stock market. And by the way, in case anybody's interested in the stock market, one of the apps that I use, Weeble, has this new promo going on for the month of October. If you download the app and make a deposit of any amount with my referral link, and that includes even if you make a deposit of one penny, they'll give you two free random shares, which is pretty cool. But then on top of that, if you refer three friends, you can get $150 worth of a FANG stock. If you don't know what that means, I'll show you right here on screen. F-A-A-N-G. That's an acronym. It stands for some of the biggest tech stocks in the world. Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. If you refer three friends, as simple as that, you can get $150 worth of one of those stocks. So go get it if you want it. Link will be in the description. But now let's cut to the Monday market open stream where I also did a little bit of an unboxing and then once that clip is done I'm going to hop back onto the video and I'm going to show off some of the other copper pieces that I have as well. Here's the clip, here we go. I want to do a little bit of an unboxing right now and it's not anything super special, it's not anything super exciting by any means but it's something that I've been wanting for a little bit of time and being that we just wrapped up the third quarter of 2021 and my one credit card gives me 5% cash back on PayPal transactions, AKA every single thing on eBay. The last week I ordered me some silver. I ordered me some airtight capsules for some coins that will be arriving later this month. And I ordered myself uh, something of the color red. Pretty excited about it. And that's why I have a gold and a silver eagle on screen right here. See, I always said to myself, we got the silver eagle, we got the gold eagle. We even have platinum and palladium eagles. 
You know what we don't have? We don't have copper eagles. <laughs> Not saying that we should, but it would be kind of cool, I guess. So anyway, something that I've been wanting for quite a bit of time. I have it right here, finally. Looks like I ripped the paper, but it, it used to say thank you for your purchase, I think. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. Like I said, we got the silver eagle, we got the gold eagle. We don't have a copper eagle, though. Man, they really taped this thing in there. Check this out. We have the Silver Eagle. We have the Gold Eagle. And now, we have the Copper Eagle. Look at that right there. United States of America. One ounce copper. With the beautiful eagle on it. We have the Copper Eagle. Let me take it out of the bag and show you the other side. It has the Walking Liberty design. I don't know if you can tell. I'm trying to show off the color. I don't know. Oh, there we go. So anyway, we have the Silver Eagle. The gold eagle and the copper eagle. Here's the silver side by side with the copper. It has the walking liberty on both sides. And then if we were to flip it over, look at that right there. Absolutely beautiful. United States of America, United States of America. So obviously the Copper Eagle has the same design as a Walking Liberty Half Dollar, which I have a few right here. Let me see this, you could argue, was the Silver Eagle before the Silver Eagle was the Silver Eagle. Let's just get it to focus. See it right there? Walking Liberty on both sides. Liberty over top. In God We Trust over on the right side. The beautiful Walking Liberty design. And then if we flip it over, again, same thing. Same design. So the Copper Eagle is essentially a one ounce Copper Walking Liberty if that makes sense. United States of America, half dollar, one ounce copper. Absolutely beautiful. So we compared it to the Silver Eagle, we compared it to the Walking Liberty half dollar. Let's compare it to the Gold Eagle really quick. Right here we got the American Gold Eagle. I'm going to have a hard time getting it to focus. Liberty on one side, obviously. You know, I don't know if I've ever done a side-by-side -side comparison between gold and copper before. Two completely different leagues, by the way. Like, it doesn't even come close. But it's interesting to see the two metals together like that. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Anyway. Liberty over top. I know it's hard to see. This is only a little 10th ounce coin. Liberty over the top. 
and then we can flip it over. The gold eagle and the copper eagle. See, I was never really a big fan of the reverse of the Type 1 Gold Eagle. I had said this plenty of times in the past. It's just so cluttered. There's so much going on. I don't really like the position of the Eagle itself. I mean, it's a beautiful coin regardless. I just, eh, I was never too big of a fan. I don't have any Type 2 Gold Eagles yet, but I'm... I like the Type 2 Gold Eagle. But anyway, I guess a Type 2 Gold Eagle would do a better comparison to a Copper Eagle like this right here. It's more of a close-up of the Eagle's head, obviously, so... Would have been nice to see the wings on the Gold Eagle, but it's just like the, uh, just a headshot, just a profile. Anyway, and then to the Copper Eagle. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the wings on that thing. I've always been a fan of this particular eagle design. So it's nice to see it on the copper eagle. Three nines fine, by the way. Pure copper. One ounce. Not a troy ounce. One ounce. Because copper is not a precious metal. Copper is an industrial metal. Troy ounces, that's reserved for precious metals. Regular ounces for industrial metals. But it's still beautiful either way. You can actually see it's very reflective. Let's do more of a close up if possible. I don't know if it'll I don't whoops, I don't know if it'll focus. Absolutely beautiful. The beautiful red metal. The Copper Eagle. This is something that I've been wanting for a while. I've noticed that they were always up for grabs. I'm just not really one to stack copper. I'd really rather not convert my dollars into copper. It's just not really my thing. I'd rather stack copper for free. So, aka, like, essentially junk copper, 95% copper pennies, pre-1982. Or literal scrap copper, like copper wire, copper tubes, and whatnot. That's how I'd prefer to stack copper. But every once in a while, there's nothing wrong with picking up something cool. I mean, this is really only worth a couple of cents of copper. But if you're going to pick up a copper round or a copper bar, you're more so paying for the art than the copper. So there's a bit of a premium for that. But either way, it, it brings an ounce of copper up to about like two bucks. So the way I see it, who cares? Two dollars for something really cool? For something, number one, that looks incredible? And two, I can get a really cool video out of? Well worth it. Well worth it. So I only have a couple of copper rounds. I have this copper eagle right here. I have a two ounce copper Aztec calendar round. I have a one ounce uh, copper penny, essentially. Just resembles a penny, it's just a round though. Um, I have a two ounce copper bullet, but that was given to me as a gift. I have a copper Jersey Devil, also given to me as a gift. Thank you, Lon, in the chat right now. And I have a couple of bags of actual copper pennies, pre-82, 95% copper pennies. 
So again, I'm not really one to stack copper. Um, it's you know people say silver takes up a lot of room. Imagine stacking copper, like stacking it to stack it. Imagine doing that. You'd fill up your entire house. So I don't stack copper necessarily. Uh, if I stumble upon free copper, I'll absolutely pick it up. And now for, I believe, the third time ever, I actually traded my dollars for a little copper piece. Uh, just for fun. Just because sometimes in life you just got to say screw it. Sometimes in life you just got to pick something up for fun just because it looks cool. or You don't even need a reason. If you like it, get it. Who cares? The Copper Eagle. Pretty cool. Okay, so that right there was about a 12 minute clip taken from the Monday Morning VIP Club live stream. If anybody wants to join, once again, I go live every single Monday morning. I also go live every single Wednesday night. I do monthly giveaways, daily silver and gold deal alerts, and a whole lot more, so the link will be in the description. But I wanted to do something in addition to just simply talking about the copper eagle. I wanted to show off some of the other pieces of copper that I have as well, because I briefly mentioned them in the clip. This right here was my very first piece of copper ever. Just simply a copper penny. It's a round, like that one right there. No real face value. It doesn't have one penny stamped on it. It's just a simple copper round with the design of a penny. Pretty cool. This is my very first piece of copper ever. I just picked it up just for fun. After that, we got ourselves a gift. This is a two ounce copper bullet sent in from Iron Fury back in 2018, I believe. It's a little two ounce piece. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that. Never really focuses. All that well anyway but two ounces after that I didn't get any copper at all for quite a bit of time and then either earlier this year or later last year I don't remember exactly when but several months ago got myself a two ounce copper Aztec calendar round just because the Aztec calendar is just such a beautiful piece. I don't care what metal it's made of. I don't care what color it is. This is just such an incredible design. You can see the five ounce silver one right down there. I liked it so much I had to get a two ounce copper one as well. Such a cool little piece. And then of course, sent in another gift from Lon. See, I got the copper bullet from Iron Fury and I got this copper Jersey Devil from Lon. So thank you very much, Lon, for sending this my way. Thank you very much, Iron Fury, for sending that my way. And then, of course, I got this on my own. Just over the weekend. Unboxed it today. Unboxed it this morning. Really excited about it. Such a cool little piece. Obviously, similar to the Copper Penny. It's just a round, so it doesn't have face value. It doesn't even have a date stamp on it. Look at that right there. No 2020, 2021... 2004, nothing, right where the date is supposed to be. And then over here, it just says one ounce copper instead of one penny, one dollar, ten dollars, fifty cents, anything like that. See, it's not a coin. This is not legal tender. This is just simply a piece of industrial metal minted to resemble a walking liberty half dollar in a one ounce denomination. So I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to copper. When it comes to stacking the beautiful red metal, is that something that you participate in? Or do you not really worry about it because the premiums are so wacky and because of how much room copper takes up and due to the fact that it's not even a precious metal at all? Is it just something that you pick up every once in a while for fun, kind of like what I do, or do you avoid it altogether? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and the industrial metals and the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. 
I'm posting exclusive VIP only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations. Got the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tees available in three different colors, as well as the DYDSS Fight Collection, raising a little bit of funds and awareness for the National Breast Cancer Foundation for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on the Copper Eagle? Do you think we ever could or ever will see an official U.S. Mint American Copper Eagle? We have the ASE, we have the AGE. Do you think we could ever see the ACE? An American Copper Eagle, one with face value, minted by the government. Do you think it's possible? Will it ever happen? I personally don't think so, but it would be kind of cool. It would be kind of interesting, even if it was just a collectability thing. It doesn't have to be on an annual basis. It doesn't have to be every year. But anyway... Let me know your thoughts on this particular piece of copper right here or your thoughts on copper in general. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.